Hello, my name is ENC Jordan, and we're gonna get right to it. Um, the two officers that shot and killed 34 year old Justin Reed were actually, um, the shooting was found to be a justifiable shooting. What I'm gonna do today is go over why I believe that the shooting was justified. And what bothers me the most, especially about my people, people that look like me, the whole victimization thing, it bugs me. And what we're gonna be doing from now on outside of our political things, we're going to go over news stories and we're gonna to try to correct a way of thinking that has plagued my community. I'm gonna play the video from the newscast when this young man was shot and killed and showed why bad decisions ended his life. And this wasn't the police fault. Roll the tape. Sir, shooting and killing a man on the north side last night, his fiance gave us these pictures and his name, Justin Reed. He was 34 years old. Police have released a photo of the rifle they say Reed pointed at the officers before the shooting. News for Jackson reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us from the scene of the shooting in Panama Park with what Reed's family told News 4 Jax. Marilyn? Well, you know, the family says that they recall when they first moved here, they remembered seeing police officers sit in this church parking lot and the officers would actually walk over to their home that you can see behind me and say, hey, don't be alarmed, we're sitting here. But unfortunately, that was not the case for them last night when they watched an unmarked vehicle pull up in front of their home. The church cameras captured the whole thing and we want to remind you or warn you, the video you're about to see may be disturbing to some. In an exclusive interview, Shakisha Watson told News for Jack's reporter Brittany Moeller the man who police killed in a shooting last night was her fiance, 34-year-old Justin Reed. Don't try to make him out to be this monster because he's not. He's protecting his family. I don't want nobody standing in front of my house, parked in front of my house, and you're not telling me who you are. We got this video from a church across the street from their home. You see a man walks up to the car holding his rifle, he first leans over the front of the car, looking into the window, then knocks on the hood of the car with the weapon. Then he points it, lowers the rifle, steps back, then raises it again. We're gonna slow it down here and show you the movement in the back seat. We see a flash from the back of the car, then a flash in the front of the car, and then muzzle flashes from Reed's rifle. We're zooming past the man going down, but you can see an officer firing multiple shots. Watson says the car was sitting there for five to seven minutes, and that Reed could be heard asking questions. And he said, who are y'all looking for? Nobody said nothing. No police got out and said, this is the sheriff's office, no nothing. She says in the past, JSO has announced themselves being near their home. And during the shooting, her three kids, not with Reed, were inside the house. That video completely illuminates why excuses satisfy those that make them. He went out to the car, and this is what kills me. What type of life were you living? To go out to the car with a damn semi-automatic rifle like they shouldn't have been there. And then she's sitting there crying, talking about, I don't want anybody in front of my house. Who the hell are you? Bad decisions. We got to stop doing it. To all my brothers and sisters, y'all got to stop. You gotta stop blaming law enforcement. You gotta stop blaming teachers. You gotta stop blaming other people for your bad decisions. And start taking accountability for your actions. I don't want that brother to be dead because he looks like me. With that said, his bad decisions got him killed. Like, share, subscribe.